What's up, Rustations? I got some great news today. Rust is now in the Windows kernel. In July of last year, Microsoft announced that they were experimenting using Rust over C and C++ for secure coding. But now it's official that Rust is going to be in the Windows kernel as soon as the next few weeks, and Rust will also be used for any new projects at Azure that require a non-garbage collected language instead of C or C++. This was announced at the 2023 Blue Hat Conference. David Weston, who is the Vice President of Operating System Security at Microsoft, gave a talk about security work being done in Windows 11, where he mentioned the importance of memory safety, citing that memory safety bugs were the most common class of bugs they encounter and that these bugs were ripe opportunities for exploits. David mentioned that Microsoft has previously focused on using anti-exploitation tools and techniques However, at this point, they have pretty much exhausted their options and need to switch their focus to eliminating bug classes. One strategy to achieve this is using memory safe languages, especially Rust. David went on to explain that Microsoft has conducted some early experiments with Rust. First, they introduced Rust in a cross-platform rewrite of a library called DWrite. DWrite is a font parsing library which handles text analysis, layout, and rendering. Font parsing has historically been a source of bugs, so it made sense to rewrite the logic in a memory-safe language. In addition to improving memory safety, they were able to successfully integrate Rust in their C++ codebase and saw a 5-15% to performance increase. The second Rust experiment they did is rewriting the region data type, which models overlapping controls in the UI. This code is currently in Windows, disabled behind a feature flag, However, it will be enabled in Insider Build soon, meaning you will see Windows with Rust booting in the kernel as soon as the next few weeks. The CTO of Azure, Mark Rosinovich, also gave a talk at Blue Hat, where he said memory-safe languages are top of mind for him. He went on to defend his most engaged tweet, in which he said Rust should be used instead of C or C++ for new projects that require a language without a garbage collector. He also confirmed that this is actually a policy at Azure, and even though the tweet upset some C and C++ developers, Azure's software is too high stakes to use non-memory safe languages. Lastly, Mark also said that the Azure team is looking at converting existing C projects to Rust. Even though Microsoft is in the beginning stages of adopting Rust, early results are looking good, and I'm very optimistic that Rust will be widely adopted at Microsoft, especially after hearing Mark say this. So this is really uh, the time for Rust now. This is great because as major tech companies like Microsoft adopt Rust, it will create a lot more job opportunities for us Rust stations. Let me know what you guys think of Microsoft using Rust. Soon Rust will be running on every Windows machine, which is very exciting. Before you go, make sure to get your free Rust cheat sheet at letsgetrusty.com forward slash cheat sheet. Give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for weekly Rust content. With that said, I'll see you in the next one.